We love our parents dearly, but sometimes some of the parents were not educated in the deen enough and they didn't know. So they may have favored one child over the rest without a valid reason. And last episode, I spoke about many valid reasons. Yani, I'm a businessman, I have, I'm a shop owner. And I needed somebody to help me in the shop. So I pulled one of my sons out of school. He barely finished high school and said, Habibi, come and help me. At least you'll be making some bucks. And mashallah, day and night he was working. We were earning and providing for the family. Because of him, the business continued, the business prospered, okay? So now, before I die, I just realized that I've utilized the son of mine and I wasted his education. And while his brothers and sisters were studying and earned their degrees, he was working and he was the mastermind behind all of that. So I decided to give him the shop or to give him some financial compensation. Is this permissible? Of course. Because there is a legitimate cause, okay? I am 65 years old. I'm not, of course, okay? I'm way younger than that. But I actually look like I am 65. I'm just giving an example. If a person is 65 years old, may Allah bless all our parents, those who are alive and have mercy on those who passed away. And uh, at the age of 65, his wife conceived, so he just received the baby. That's a miracle. It happens. So now he has some children who are already married, and he has grandchildren, and all of a sudden his young wife just give birth. So he's diagnosed with cancer. He's afraid that if he's going to die, this young child still have a long way, doesn't have uh, an access to, you know, I don't have anything much left for them. So I decided to give him some money in my life or a property in order to maintain him if I die. That's a legitimate reason. Because mashallah, the elder uh, sons and daughters, I paid for their college educations, for tuitions. I got them married. Everyone, I got them a flat or a car. But this young kid still have nothing. They didn't give him anything. So I decided to set aside Provided it's not a wasiyah, some people say, if I die, please give this to my son or to my daughter, invalid. Because the Prophet said, La wasiyah taliwarith. If I die, then any wasiyah which entails giving anything extra to one of the heirs is invalid and it will not be honored or even considered. But in my life, I said to my wife, here is a key for the uh, ground floor flat. And I've written a contract and I, uh, uh, you know, validated the contract and I did support and register the flat in this kid's name because he didn't uh, receive like any of his brothers. So it has become his during your life. That's valid. Other than that, because I like this one more, so I give him something valuable extra. Remember, that is not permissible. And in this case, the child who have earned or received something from one of the parents without justification, which is something valuable, if he loves his parent or parents so much, and now they're dead, he would rather gather his siblings and say, look, I know you, your feeling is hurt, and here is the flat or the car or the shop, which my father have, give, have given me a loan. So let's distribute it among ourselves equally. Jazakallah khairan. Now you bless your parent, the one who gave you, or your parents, and you maintain good relations. And what Allah the Almighty disapproves, according to the hadith, 